Hello everyone, this is CypherDeck, and today we're going to be playing a game called Card Life. This is a game where everything is made out of cardboard, and yourself and every tool that you use is designed by you. If you wanted to, or you can use the, um, the cookie cutter design that is given to you as, um, as the basis. So, let's go ahead and get into it. We're going to be playing single player today. And then we're going to be moving on to multiplayer in another day with a friend of mine, Nano. Alright, let's go ahead and make our character. Alright, so here we are. Uh, we can design our character and you can see that he is made out of cardboard. It's a really cool concept of a game. A lot of people are comparing it to Minecraft in ways. Though... Um, I, I could see the I could see the similarities, but also it has its huge differences. I think what we're going to do is we're going to start by making his ears. So I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of a frill there, something leading into an ear that comes up because we're going to make him like an elf or something. And then I want to have his jaw come down. And then we'll kind of follow this around and then bring it back up and go back up into an ear, come back down, and then we're going to do something like this. And let's go ahead and do his hair now. Now, this could be anything you want it to be. And, of course, being that this is drawn with a mouse, it is not going to be the best. <laughs> um, so don't expect it to be, um, like the new, the new, um, uh, whatever. I don't even know what I'm trying to say. Um, let's see. Can I make little holes for his ears over here? Just, just make the, there we go. A little hole for his ears over there. And then, um, let's go ahead and make his nose because his nose is going to be, um, uh, it will allow us to set his eyes, and I feel that right here, the way that these eyes are separated gives us uh, a good place to make the nose lines. So, there we go, and then we'll do another one on the other side. Something like this. It doesn't have to be <clears throat> too much, and you can see that this is just the start of his nose. We're going to make the little nodules here on each side. There we go, and then we'll do the little thing here for for the nose. So there you go. The whole nose is like designed there. It's not perfect, and I'm not trying to make it perfect. I want it to just have its a uh, unique look. Let's go ahead and make some eyes now. I'm gonna do kind of the same design, and then we'll see if this kind of thing works. And um, yeah, so I think that's what we're gonna do. Come back down. Perfection does not breed the the best the the best design. I think uh, by just doing things like this, where you're you're cutting into it, uh, it allows it to be free flowing. You know, something like something like that. And then he is a elf, so he's not he's not like a a happy a happy individual. He's he's stern in his in his design. And, um, yeah, so let's go ahead and get that going. And ba-bam! <clears throat> and that is his luck. Oh, let's, let's go ahead and put that little chin thing that people have sometimes that, like, identifies their chin. I think that's it. I think, you know, it's not, um, it's not anything to, it's not the greatest, <laughs> but it is a thing. Alright, so for the chest, we're going to just uh, kind of follow the contours that are given to us here. And just go around. And then for, for the inside here, you know, I do want to put a heart. I feel the heart is a, is a thing, but we're going to put something that looks more realistic, I feel. Uh, just to show, I mean, he is an elf. He has an elfy heart. So... Let's go ahead and do something like that, leading up into something like that, and then finally, oh, well, okay, that's fine, that's fine, we can do one more, so we'll come up, and there it is, 
an elfy heart of some sort. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, let's, let's, um, we'll, we'll go ahead and make some, some, like, tiny marks, uh, like this, uh, just, uh, you know, I don't know, um, I don't know, I don't think that looks good, let's see, um, uh, you know what, I'm gonna leave it, like, I don't know, let's, uh, let's hollow it out maybe a little bit, see how it, how it looks with that, no, no, I'm not liking that either. You know what, I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm gonna get rid of this too, and we'll do something just a little bit smaller, I feel. <clears throat> I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm too, too much into the detail. Let's go ahead and just do something abstract with it. I'm gonna do that. That that looks good to me. Now he is an elf. <clears throat> he's he's been working out. He's buff, you know. He has a he has a defined look to him. So there we go. Come back down, and then we're gonna come back up. This is bad already. <laughs> oh my god. Um, let's try let's try to get this a little bit more neat. There we go. Oh. You know the the sliding the sliding of the mouse is really awkward for this kind of stuff. So let's uh, let's go ahead and get. <laughs> just get done. Just get yeah. Okay, we're good. And then we'll just come back over here, and let's go ahead and put in uh, some you know some signifiers that he has. He has the cut abs. Cut abs in there there we go something like that uh, boom and i give him a belly button there you go uh let's go ahead and put like the cutness from here all the way up and there you go he has cut abs <laughs> all right let's get these arms done all right so i'm gonna go ahead and Make them kind of thin. We'll do a little abstract with it again. Just, um, you know, something, something to keep it interesting. It's not too bad. It's not overly, overly crazy. All right. And then we'll come up and do... You know, I'm really bad about this whole drawing with a mouse thing. But I'm, I'm fine with it because it allows you to be very, very different from everybody else. I think that's it. I think that's our character right there. And then uh, let's go ahead and name ourselves. So uh, that is going to be Cypher Deck. Let's go ahead and create. And we are in the world. Let it load for a second. Uh, it's kind of like Minecraft in that way as well. We gotta let it load. Let it be uh, be with the one with the world. Okay, we're near some a cave or something over here. Um, hello. Oh, hello. Hi. Okay. <laughs> uh, it wants us to punch down a tree and collect wood. Of course, that's a that's a normality in these kind of things. So uh, let's go ahead and punch this tree down. I love the fact that your hands just flail. Like, get me out of here! <laughs> there we go. And that looks so freaking cool. Um, let's go ahead and collect whatever this is. I love the, the harvesting. That it, it's actually showing you physically harvesting different different things. Alright, so it wants us to craft a wooden hatchet. Let's go ahead and go into our inventory here. Uh, wooden hatchet, what are we needing? We need four more logs. These are small trees. It looks like there's bigger trees up there, but uh, let's go ahead and cut down a, 
another tree and see if it'll allow us to make the hatchet. <laughs> oh, this is amazing. Alright, let's grab all this stuff and let's make our hatchet. Alright, I'm gonna um, design my hatchet just to have an idea of what I want to do. So, I think what I'm gonna do uh, first off, I'm gonna, I guess I'll start um, trying to think of how I want to do this. So, I go something like this. I want to come to a point all the way to the end, come to another point, and then we're going to go really high and then come all the way back up to the top. I don't think you call that exactly a bearded axe, but that's kind of what I'm going for is a bearded axe. Let's go ahead and cut in some um, some decorative um, <laughs> decorative things. So we're gonna start here. We're gonna come down. We're gonna come all the way back over, and then we're gonna kind of jump down a little bit. Do the same thing. I, it sounds like something is right next to me. And then I think that's it for that. And then let's let's do something with this. Let's go ahead and just come down and then use the, the contour of the I think that looks fine. And then we'll we'll do something here as well. Let's go ahead and do something like that. And that I actually like. I like it a lot. So let's go ahead and create it. Boom. It has been created and we are now completely out of wood again. Now it wants us to eat some springberry. Hello, big man, big dude. Okay. Just looking around. We got a hole here. And it looks like there's some kind of um, ore maybe on the surface. Let's go ahead and grab some more of these. I'm guessing these are going to be very important to us. And I think what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and try to hunt for these berries that they're talking about. But I want to try to get up there and then maybe come back down and uh, or make a house up there or something. Come back down here and this will be our mining area. Okay, how am I supposed to get up this? <laughs> This uh, is not allowing me to go up it, so I may have to travel around a little bit. Let's go ahead and move this way. I'm hearing winged, winged, um, or chirps like birds. Oh, hey, buddy. Uh, no, 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 no. I, the power of whatever compels you, the power of, oh, jeez, um... Yeah, I can't even go up this at all. Will it let me at all at any time here? I feel... Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. I feel like this is a, a place. I feel like this is a place that... Oh! oh. Okay, let's, uh, let's try this again. I want to... There we go. There we go. We're up. All right. Look at these trees. Okay, so let's get our hatchet out. And uh, let's try cutting down a tree. It seems faster. And it seems like the hole's bigger than uh, if you do it with your hands. And we can we can test this by... Okay, maybe, maybe the hole's the same, but it's definitely much faster. Really? That little tiny piece? Alright, while that's falling, I'm going to go ahead and... Ooh, are these the berry thingies that wants me to get? Um, it looks like it. Let's go ahead and eat one. Okay, we that, that did complete that. So, uh, where did that tree go that I cut down? Okay, there, there it is. I'm going to cut a few of these down because um, before we move on, it wants us to craft a wooden short sword. 
but I, I feel like I want to craft all the tools. I want I want to have a base design for all the tools leading forward, and that way we um, uh, because I don't know if you noticed, but whenever I crafted uh, the uh, the axe, if you go back into your inventory, it says craft last. So if I'm able to continually craft the last version of it, then that that'll be very beneficial to us to have a base template. Uh, done so let's go ahead and get some more of these we have the wood um, we go let's go ahead and eat a few more berries so we can get our food all the way up and uh, yeah so the wooden sickle a simple sickle for harvesting bushes so that's uh, something we'll definitely want to uh, make Let's see here. So, I'm going to be jagged about it. You know, just make it look like it would suck to be hit by this thing. Get a little backwards hook going there. Coming down. We'll have it come all the way up here and then come inward. Oh, then have this. Oh, no. <laughs> he stole it from me. I want to. Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Can I. Okay, let's just follow our dotted line now. I just want the point to be a little bit more. Affirmed. This is actually kind of cool that we can use our own dotted line to to reshape our, our look a little bit. You know what? I think that's going to be um, perfect for that. Now, this handle looks very, very odd. So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to just come down... It, well, I didn't make it look any better. Let's let's try that again. Let's um, make it kind of like a vase shape. Something like that. And have this come up a little bit. And then, then up a little bit. Finally to there. And then... You know what? It's not the best look, but I'm going to use it. Let's go ahead and create that. Um, also, let's put this stuff in our inventory so we, we don't have to look at it here. Um, so that's that. We can also make a pickaxe. Let's go ahead and craft that as well. And for the pickaxe, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to go with something that just... Um, I don't know. i I'll try to drop it down. And then... Go way down and then come right back up. Drop it down again. We'll come down and uh, we'll follow this contour until we get to there. <laughs> Let's go ahead and use it. It's, um, you know, again, this is going based off of what you could create with your mind. All right, we need a little bit more fiber and, uh, and tree. What is that? Oh, these are just little lights that are, that's pretty cool. So we do have this. Feels like it's going a little bit faster. Let's get some more berries so whenever we get a little hungry. And let's cut down a tree. Uh, so, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm, really, I'm really liking the look and the design. The sounds are amazing. I did turn the music off because the music was just so loud. And, you know, while I know that it's not going to give me a copyright strike... Um, or that it would affect me in any way. I just I just felt that it was it was too loud for for what I was doing, and I wanted to I wanted to concentrate on on all the sounds around me because in games like this, the sounds of the animals can be um, can be very important for your survivability. So I'm gonna get um, a little bit more resources so we can make not only the um, the the um, spoon 
Uh, you know, that that is something that I did get from uh, playing Minecraft. People calling the shovel the spoon. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get that. And then we're also going to have enough resources for the sword. And, um, and get um, moving a little bit further into the game. Okay, so I've been harvesting for a little bit. By the way, I found this little plant. It's uh, called a honeyberry. And um, I did get run off. Uh, by the way, that is rancid meat. So I did get attacked by a imp here. Uh, I did pretty well against it. So I want to go ahead and make my sword next. Um, or not. What am I missing for the sword? Missing more fiber. I thought I got enough fiber, but... I did, like I said, got, uh, ran off, and then while I was cutting down a tree, I did get attacked, so I, I did have to run. I'm hearing some, like, noises under the ground, too, now. Uh, I'm hungry. This is gonna be, like, the, 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 um, the, um, the word of the day. I'm hungry. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead and grab all those. Um, fibers. I need fibers. There's, by the way, there's a goblin. That's what ran me off. I don't like them. They're, they're mean. They don't like me either. Oh, hello. Hi. Ho, oh, hello. There's, it feels like, I'm, I'm, it's a trap. Okay, so, I'm gonna, um, okay, he's gone. Is it, is it because it's daytime now that he's gone? Maybe it's a daytime thing. Okay, there's new... I see uh, what looks like to be a bear over there. And then we have some kind of flying creature as well. Let's see here. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't want these flying creatures to see me. Oh, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, bear. All right, I think we have enough now. Let's go ahead and make a sword. Should I make a sword or should I make a bow or crossbow? I mean, it wants me to make a sword, so I'll go ahead and make the sword. But, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and craft the sword. And I'm going to make this, uh, I don't know if you've ever heard of it, but there's a German, um, there's a German two-hander called a Zilwider, Zilwild, Zivolder, Zivelda, something like that. Um, this is not looking like it, though. Um, and then it comes, anyway, it's a, it's a curved blade kind of like this that follows its own its own uh, look and then it has a point that actually isn't rounded like that but uh yeah let's go ahead and craft that and uh we'll go ahead and see what these uh these creatures are about let's go ahead and get some more of this while it's uh near me i don't know if this stuff respawns or or how it how it works but uh definitely Definitely, uh, well, okay, let's get our sword out and see what this, uh, I, I hear bears. Okay, uh, looks like they're, they see me. It's a dryad. Whoa, 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 whoa. How you flip sides that old stuff fast? <laughs> I figure if I'm, if I have more health than they do, then I'm, then I'm, I'm a winner. Uh, health is going back up, but I'm really low on food. So let's go ahead and hit, uh, number eight. Let's get some more of these berries in me. Just, oh, I'm still... Okay, we're f our food is good. Let's go ahead and hit J. <laughs> because it's kind of telling us to. Uh, let me get away from the dryads, though. I don't, don't want to... I don't want to perish while I'm, while I'm looking at the journal. Alright, so these these things that we've been doing, they are quests. And I do remember this because I was watching Nano's channel. 
And uh, I, I, um, I even asked them, did you go back and check your journal? <laughs> so uh, this is the journal. Every time we complete one of the missions or one of the tutorial missions, we get an item from it. So uh, we got some fiber for collecting fiber. We got some wood for collecting wood. Uh, we get some more wood for making more tools. Uh, hunger management, we get more berries. Um, and so much more. And then we had a hearty meal, so we're going to get some more meat. That's good. Let's go ahead and move. Oh, <laughs> now let's go back into our inventory here. So whenever I got attacked by the imp, uh, it dropped an imp horn. Uh, an imp horn uh, can be used in enchanting. And then dull magic essence, which is also used in enchanting. Let's go ahead and put the wood that we have kind of in its own little pile. I want to put these these flower-based items in their own pile. Uh, I guess this would be um, kind of a secondary wood base. Uh, meats and stuff we'll, we'll keep on our bar as long as we can and then we'll have some hides uh, we still need to make a um, a wooden spade so let's go ahead and craft that uh, I don't know how much of a design I want to go for on this thing but it's giving me a lot of room and I kind of like that <laughs> There we go. That just does not look like a... S <laughs> and uh, let's go ahead and cut out like the whole center of it, maybe. Just the, you know, I don't like that. Let's go ahead and undo that. Let's kind of follow the contours. Something like that. That looks better. It looks like I'm, you know, it looks like a thing. <laughs> let's go ahead and create that. All right. Um, let's put that over there. Uh, should we put our sword on our number one? And then, uh, well, the axe is going to be used more than that. Uh, I think that's going to be used more than the, than the spade. And then I do want to make a bow, but do I want to make a, a an actual bow or do I want to make a crossbow? The difference is the ex, uh, the attack speed on the bow is faster uh, because it reloads faster. But it's 71 damage to 96, where, of course, as a crossbow, you have to reload every bolt. You have to pull the string back, lock it into place, that kind of stuff. But it's 120 damage for, uh, to 147 damage. I think we're going to go this route, just because I feel that's going to be the better way to go in the, in the first place. And, um, okay, so we can, deny, we can design everything on this. Let's, um, uh, let's go ahead and design the back part. I kind of want to leave it the way it is. And then uh, we're going to come up, and I kind of want to give it, you know, like a little trigger look to it. Kind of come up around... There we go. And then let's give it a, uh, a, a chef's knife kind of look to it there. So it's not the best. Uh, you know what I could have done is I could have... Let's try it out. Let's, let's, uh, let's see if we can get this to work. Um, come back down again like this. But instead of coming up and doing that, we're going to come around like this. And then we're going to come... Uh, that. There we go. We'll come back up. To here that doesn't look great don't worry about it <laughs> um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to do something that looks like this coming down into here over to here coming over and then we're going to cut this whole section out now it looks like a trigger and then um, I'm going to do some like uh, designy thing up up here as well so let's just do something like this that comes up and there we go and it's, it's, uh, I think that works. And you know what? Uh, this part right here just looks too good. And I, it doesn't allow me to make it symmetrical. I'm going to leave that the way it is. So let's go ahead and create that. All right. <laughs> our, our hot bar is getting uh, to be a hot mess. You know what? I'm going to, I'm going to concentrate on like actual meat being our food. 
So let's put our berries in here and we'll we'll save those. I don't think there's alchemy in the game, but if there were, uh, let me see. When consume replenishes a small amount of health, uh, hunger and health. Hunger and health. Hunger and health. So all that is the same. So I think we'll, we'll leave it at that. Um, I'll put the sword over there. Again, axe that. And no, what? What'd I do? What'd I do? I dropped it. Okay. Let's go ahead and collect all. And let's put this here. I think that's going to be perfect. So here's our crossbow. Uh, let's make some bolts for it. We do have a lot of trees. I, I did do some harvesting. And we'll make uh, 10. Uh, let's, let's do that. Oh, it's giving us 10 per, per one. Uh, that's awesome. So we, we're going to start out with 100 arrows. Alright, so we can only have stacks of 99. Uh, good to know for the future. Alright, let's go hunting. I, I feel that uh, collect dirt with your hands. That doesn't sound like something that I want to do, but... Uh, oh, well, that didn't go the way I wanted it to. There we go. We got the dryad with the, the thing. Uh, oh, you, you darn little dryad. We, we can kite these guys, it looks like. Oh. There we go. We got some more meat and some hide, it looks like. All right, let's go ahead and uh, empty our hands. Uh, you know, I don't know if I've already mentioned this, but in games that have hot bars like this, if you make F to empty your hands, you're doing it right. Because I absolutely hate having to hit zero to empty my hands. I think that is the worst thing to do. Now, I do want to show you uh, something that I did learn, since we do have to collect some dirt. Whenever uh, I was reading through the notes, it said that they're coming up with a new harvesting system for, like, digging in the ground. But for right now, what you do is, if you only want to pick up one layer, you right-click. Okay? So there's our dirt. Uh, but if you want to pick up a lot of layers, like two or three layers... You uh, use your left hand, and it goes, it looks like, three or four layers down. So if you want to be more precise with the way your your, your stuff looks, uh, this is how you would do it. And there you go. So that's your, your one layer uh, right there. And it actually makes it look a little bit better, contours. And then if you hit the side of an area, it will, um, it will also push that in with the other ones uh, around it. All right, let's go ahead and collect the dirt. Now, the thing about dirt uh, is if we go ahead and hit, I think, number nine here. Number nine. We should be able to... Whoa, what's that about? What, <laughs> what happened there? Um, I thought we should be able to... Let's go ahead and put the dirt in number one real quick. I'll we'll put the, the bow there. I don't think I'm going to use the melee weapon unless I absolutely have to or until we get to something better. Okay. Okay, let's go ahead and empty our hands real quick. And then we should have um, dirt. Um, well, for some reason, it's not letting me put the dirt in my uh, in my hand. But anyway, the, uh, the way that's supposed to work is you... Maybe it's compact dirt? There we go. And we can put back a layer as well. There you go. So uh, we did it by right clicking. And if you want to put a lot down, you put a lot down. Uh, that's So uh, I don't know that we use dirt for anything as far as our crafting goes. But uh, that, is, that is a really cool feature. That you can, you can actually design your landscape around your, your, your home. So let's go ahead and cut down a tree. It wants us to make foundations. And I want to make um, a house... That, that is a, a, a pretty big size. So what I'm thinking for the house is I want it to be five wide. And then I want it to be um, three, three by five uh, by, uh, by one by three. I don't know if that makes any kind of sense of what I'm trying to say. But I want it to have a little porch area. Um, and uh, hopefully, because I haven't really looked into it too much. Hopefully there's fences of some sort, because if there's fences, that will play into my design. 
So let's go ahead and get this tree down. And again, I'm really enjoying this this look, this feel to a game. You don't get it very often. Uh, that that new, fresh feel to to something that you you've played before in in some sort of fashion. Let's go ahead and grab these and grab these. There we go. And I'm kind of liking this area because we have found dryads. Dryads uh, were giving us not only meat, but also um, but also the dull magic stuff. Let's get some of these honey things too. I wonder if there's going to be cooking uh, at some point because that would seem like that would be a thing that they would end up doing. There's some boar over there. Kind of just looking for where I'd want to make a, a home. There's the, you know, I feel like being in this forest over here is going to be the best way to go. Let's see here. Maybe we should make it on the cliff uh, that way we're near all this these boars and things uh, but we also have a way to get down we can make some stairs down and then we can make a mine and then mine and uh, do that kind of thing as well so let's look over here oh hello that's nice and open let's see it's getting dark again. That means we're going to have uh, the goose, uh, goose and goblins, Go ghosts and goblins. <laughs> All right. I think we have enough stuff. Let's get, let's get these foundations made. All right. So do I want something right, like right here, right on the edge. Maybe I am extremely hungry. Let's go ahead. There we go. All right, let's get in and check out these foundations. So you do have this this drop down bar, and um, you can do different kinds of crafting, storage, lights, uh, structures. So let's go to structures, and what is this? A wooden battlement? Not exactly a fence kind of thing I was looking for, but it's it's a it's a thing. A wooden sloped battlement. Slope fins. Not seeing where there's. Oh, maybe that's kind of a top corner thingy. I don't know how how the roof is going to be on these things. So we have we have a wooden square foundation, or we have a wooden square double foundation, which kind of flattens out this this the the side and everything. I think this is the way we're going to go. So I want to make it look um, pretty pretty cool. So let's go ahead and go with... Uh, I said 5 by 3. So that would be 15 of them. <laughs> That's a lot. Let's go ahead and, um, and go with uh, just 8 right now. So that's, that's all we can really make. And wow, we can, we can put a design into these. Uh, you know what? I don't want to mess... I don't want to mess with that kind of stuff. I feel that a floor should look like a floor. Um, what do, I mean, if I if I put lines in this, it just I mean I'll be looking at I'll be looking into a box. It just doesn't look right to me. I'm gonna just craft these the way they are. I'll move that there. Move this wood up here, and then we'll move these down here. Alright. Um, so, we don't want them to be completely hanging off, and I, I wanted to... Uh, okay, there we go. And they snap together, it looks like, so that's good. Maybe we'll do a four, and then have it come out to a, a two, or something like that. There we go. There we go. So let's go ahead and check our journal. 
Uh, we got a, another spade. There we go. And we got some more foundations. Of course, these foundations don't look like our foundations uh, because we went with a different type. But at least we have that. Let's see if we can't make the door now because that's what it wants us to do next. Door. We can make the door. So let's go ahead and craft that. Okay, so there's no kind of specialness to, to that door. Let's go ahead and put this down. Um, you know what? I'm going to make a side entrance, I, I think. Uh, because I don't want to... I don't want to mess with this over here. Let's go ahead and grab these berries. I don't know why I'm using my hands. I have a, <laughs> I have a sickle. Alright, now it wants us to mine stone with the pickaxe. We can do that. Now I want to be able to get back up here. Um, <laughs> so, let's go ahead and find a good way down. Actually, this might be a good place to go down. And, uh, and mine. So, let's see. It follows along really well. I just do not want to get stuck. Falling all the way back down. Can I get back up this? Looks like we may be able to. Um, so, let's just start mining right here. Oh, wait a minute. I see a little, a little hitch. Oh, hello. Hide down there. Oh, huh? Okay. Let's get our... get this imp killed and then we'll <sighs> settle down now like uh, I'm gonna... I only gotta hurt you a little bit it's like come on down come play with me though jeez are you a spastic little imp you make me waste all my there we go there we go there we go Beep. go back go back or do what you're going to do. There you go. And then... Oh, well, that was nowhere near him. There we go. Alright, so we're in it now. Whatever it is, we're in it. <laughs> so, let's get our pickaxe. What is this? Amethyst. Okay, cool. Um, well, we're definitely going to have to dig our way out now. So, we're going to be able to get the stone that we need. Now, remember I told you about having uh, to make the layers so that we can get it um, to take up and down land? Uh, that's what we're going to have to do here to, to get out, it looks like. Our food looks good, though, so that's, that's always a good thing. I right, just take out that layer, and then uh, let's um, let's start taking out some layers here. There we go. Okay. There we go a little bit. Okay, we need uh, we just need these steps to be a little bit wider for us. Hey, and we should be able to get out now. But I do want to keep mining because we do want to get um, enough stone for the reason that it's um, asking us. And that is squire armor. So I'm going to keep at this for a little bit. Okay, so I've been mining for a little bit. Let's go ahead and check. We have 74 stone. And we did complete a quest for this. So let's see here. We got a crate that we can put in our house, and we get more stone. <clears throat> so that's good. That means uh, we'll have enough, hopefully, to make our squire armor, and then maybe we'll get into making these, these stone tools. So I'm going to make the helmet first, I feel. That's going to be the way to go. Uh, looks like we're going to need a lot of fiber, though. So uh, let's... Oh, so this is going to be a half-side helmet thingy. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and try to follow this along. And then we'll kind of round this out, coming down to a point. And then... I'm going to come up to another point and see how that works. 
Ew. Why did why did it not work the same as that one did? Uh, the points just... Oh, it's because the points are just so jagged. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to just leave it the way it is. I'm going to use its design. It's not like I'm going to be able to physically see it on my character. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and put that on. And that gives us 272 armor. And it gives us a health bonus of 1%. And, uh, yeah, um, we need what? More fiber, I'm guessing, yes. So, you know what, I, though? I think what we're going to do is we're going to get enough fiber for making our um, our tools. or it, Especially the pickaxe. Because if, it's, if we're going to use this much... If we're going to use this much um, stone in making the armor, might as well just get the, the pickaxe and hopefully that will speed everything up. Okay, let's get this. There's a ton of this stuff down here. Okay. Let's go let's go ahead and make um the pickaxe now. Let me see. What am I messing? Whoa, 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 whoa. What are what's hitting me? Hey buddy! Hey! That's not fair of you. That's not nice. You know, I am getting kind of hungry, though. I do. I need. I do, do need more meat. Oh, hi. We have another crab coming in on the game, too. It's like, hey. But what about me? What about me, sir? I want to be a part. I don't know. I don't, I don't know what's going on here. I don't know what the game is, but... Can I play, too? <laughs> there we go. I think I uh, backed into the, uh, into the other ones. All right. So, what were we missing here? wood we need wood okay that would mean that we should probably make a a stone pickaxe as well or a stone axe and pickaxe i feel like we we should probably just make all the stone tools just have them all done all right there we go uh, can we see our home from here um i'm not i'm not seeing it let's just go back up and uh Get trees from up here anyway. Oh, no, no, no. You got it. You got it. There you go. So our home is this way. I think, yeah, extremely hungry. There we go. I don't want to cut this tree down. It's our shade uh, along with that one. I feel that that would be a, a bad thing. Let's go ahead and get this one, though. And that should be enough to make at least one or two weapons or one or two tools. There we go. So what do we get for making... Well, I don't want to see what we get for completing quests because that's going to uh, jade my, my my whole thing. So, uh, axe. Let's go ahead and just craft last. And then we'll make a pickaxe. Craft last. Do we need more wood? Oh, <laughs> we just made an axe, so... Let's go ahead and replace that, and we'll put, put that in there, and then, um, let's go ahead and take this box that I have on me, uh, number eight, and we'll just put it down right back here, something like that, and let's throw things that we're not going to need immediately, like, uh, those, and the hides, uh, these dull magic essences, the enchanting stuff, that kind of stuff, um, we could put that in there as well. Uh, these foundations, because I don't plan to use those unless maybe for staring down uh, dirt. You know, I'll leave that in there just because uh, we're low on the fiber as well. Uh, the sword. Let's go ahead and just put the wooden tools in there as well. Because while we're not going to use them now, we may need them in the future if we die. Uh, just as backups. And we'll keep the resin on us as well. And then we need to get rid of this rancid meat. Uh, 
I guess we'll keep it. I don't think it's going to be used for anything. Uh, rotten meat is, should be... Okay. Well, we'll just put it there. So let's try out this new axe. And you know what? We can move these things forward. I doubt that I'll be using a sword again. Unless I absolutely have to use a sword. Uh, I feel that the... Um, that the crossbow is just too powerful not to use. Alright, let's see how this works. Builds much faster again. So, yeah, this is this is pretty amazing. While that's cutting down, let's go ahead and grab some of these tall trees too. So fast. This is crazy. This is awesome too. Ah, uh, we kind of moved a little too far forward. There we go. Um, let's go ahead and grab these these things over here. I wonder if they're going to have planting or anything like that in the future, or something where you can um, put in farm beds so that you can harvest fiber from your, your own stock uh, something like that all right i think we got enough wood let's go ahead and finish up our um we need fiber now <laughs> we always need fiber you know we're gonna just go right down here yeah. and uh the next thing we're gonna get is one of these uh sickles just because of the fact that we are having to har harvest all this fiber. Um, yeah. So let's go ahead and get enough. To make a stone sickle. Craft lash. I'll put that there. And again, I kind of don't like having this kind of stuff on my bar. Maybe I just need to stockpile it or something. Definitely much faster than that as well. Alright. Now we're getting things done. I feel like we're not uh, being hung up by all the, the things. So, you know. Oh, hey, buddy. Hey, you want to you wanna tussle with the muscle? Want to play with the, with the, the ranger? I'm a ranger. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, uh, I've played two other games and I've used this voice. It's called Hans. Uh, it's weird. Anyway, so my Hans character is um, in EverQuest. Is this is this ranger, and um, in a quest you find out that you are a Strider, uh, which um, <laughs> it goes something like this: Hello, everyone. This is Hans, and today we found out that we are a Strider. We are a ranger, and we are gonna have to kill this cutesy little crab because he gives us meats. And also enchanting items, which is very good. <laughs> so there's, I was, I was thinking of that whenever, uh, whenever I was doing these, um, these little excursions where we're having to fight these guys. So that is it. We are now a ranger in this game. We are a strider. <laughs> so uh, let's get a little bit more material. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have um, a little bit of time harvesting because. I feel that a lot of the things that we're doing in the game kind of get set back because we're always having to harvest. I want to I want to be able to make a house. I want to I want to be able to make the tools. I want to be able to make the armor that we need. So I'm going to just stockpile it a little bit and then uh, come back and we'll we'll make all the stuff. Okay, so I've harvested a lot of stuff and I just saw this really weird huh? There's something there, but I just saw... Yeah, there it is. Look at that. It's a glowy imp-looking thing. Well, I know it's an imp. I know what imps look like. But it has a glowing outline of the imp. So, let's go ahead and check it out. Let's see what that is about. Oh, come on. There we go. It's an elite imp. And did I aggro his friend because he's an elite or did I just aggro him because I was too close and I'm stuck I'm stuck they're stuck apparently they don't I, I don't want to lose the elite because the elite is what I'm here for I don't care about the other one 
and I'm horrible at this archery thing. Bring out the Stratus Fiat. Let's get to it. Let's get to going. Okay, let's leave that meat on the ground. We don't need rancid meat. There we go. Hitting all these berries. Alright, let's see if we can't get around gain the rancid meat. I would rather the rancid meat just stay on the ground and away from me. Alright. So let's see what we picked up. Uh, I, I, let me get back to my house. Let me, <laughs> let me get back over there. And uh, we need to finish making the spirit armor. Or the, the, what was it, squire armor? How far away did I go from my house? <laughs> okay, there it is. We still need to make uh, another set of uh, foundations as well. Oh, I, I was spreading still from running away from those things. So I'm out of, I'm out of stamina. And I'm really low on food, so let's go ahead and eat the food. We're out of meat. See what we have uh, most of next. Let's go ahead and go with the berries. And let's go ahead and make uh, the rest of our squire armor. I know that it wants us to make this because it says uh, stone squire armor. But I want to make these parts before I finish the quest. I want to have a full set. So like before, I'm not going to mess with, uh, with what works. So I'm going to just... Let it let it be. Um, and then we need to make the legs. Again, let it be. Put these on. I think that's the arms. And that's the boots. And now we'll make the the, uh, the breastplate. This thing looks really cool too. I like the, the way they've made these things. Alright, so we've made a full set of squire armor. Let's see what we got for the, for that quest. So, Defender. We got uh, a stone sword. Uh, so, good. We didn't have to make one. <laughs> Alright, now it wants us to defeat a wolf for its pelt. So, that's going to have to probably be during the daytime. Uh, didn't we get something off of that? Oh, yeah, here it is. An imp soul. So, it, this is a powerful creature soul that can be equipped to gain additional power and it has an age on it which is 1.1 i'm guessing the higher the age the better does our equipment have ages on it too it does all of this is 1.1 so i guess as we get higher level it becomes age um two and age three and age four so that's uh, really cool but we get some stats off of this and i'm guessing these go in these slots because this is the only thing that has the same kind of icon so we, we got that. Let's go ahead and see. We completed another quest, which is a Soul Reaver. And we got a uh, Wolf Soul. So let's go ahead and take a look at the Wolf Soul. Uh, the Wolf Soul also gives us uh, stats, uh, but it's different. So it has more health and a little bit more attack. Um, this one has less armor. So if we wanted to, we can stack up really good statted um, uh, souls. And that's how we'll, we'll go ahead and get that stuff done. So I think we've done a lot today. Uh, I'm going to work on getting more wood and stuff to build our house. Because it's not going to be it's not gonna be this. I, I want it to be bigger than this. And then also I want to have a stairway that goes all the way down there. That way we have a way to get back up and down without having to squirrel up some sort of um thing but while we're here before we end the video i do want to bring up the map and show you we have barely even touched the surface of what this this place is and i'm going to put a marker down right here this way if for some reason we get lost uh we can find our way back also I, while i was uh out harvesting i did go through here a little bit and we have some crafting st uh, stations we can make as well um structures weapons crafting nope crafting tables so we need to get uh hide to be able to make the clothing rack which i'm guessing is going to tan you know what we have hide we have hide let's go ahead and go back in here we have the stuff to make that Though, I'm, I'm going to leave that to next time because I don't know where I want to put it in the house. Uh, we are going to expand out this way. And we're going to put a door on the front over here. 
and then probably have a door that leads down to wherever the steps are going to be um if if it allows to do that so hopefully you guys enjoyed this has been cypher deck peace out